What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to Courtside Financial, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. Now, look, today is Monday, November 17th, and we've got to talk about something absolutely wild. Abu Dhabi just became the Silicon Valley of autonomous driving. And look, they're not using any American companies. They're actually mostly using Chinese company. And while we're seeing all this unfold, Tesla just really just dropped some news about what might be their most significant FSD update uh, to date. And guys, guess what? They're even um, potentially adding Apple CarPlay. Now, I know most of you guys are here because you're Neo Bulls just like me, but here's the thing to actually understand what's going on. You've got to understand the battlefield. And this week, the battlefield just got a whole lot more interesting. So let's dive in. So picture this, you land at Zaid International Airport in Abu Dhabi. You walk outside into that desert heat and what do you see? Driverless cars everywhere, different colors, different logos, but here's the kicker. They're almost all Chinese. This past week has basically been Abu Dhabi China Autonomous Vehicle Week. Within days of each other, We Ride, Carrot Express, these are both Chinese companies by the way, got commercial operation permits for fully driverless robo taxis. That's not a pilot program where someone's sitting in a front seat just in case. That's real commercial revenue generating autonomous vehicles with nobody behind the wheel. Then, Cow Cow Mobility jumped in with their three-in-one approach. They're bringing vehicles, the autonomous tech, and mobility service all in one package. Right after that, Didi Autonomous Driving announced they're joining the party too. So here's what's fascinating. Abu Dhabi created something called Savvy, the smart and autonomous vehicle industry cluster back in 2023. They basically said, we're going to become the global R&D and production center for autonomous vehicles. And they meant it. According to recent reporting, at least seven autonomous driving companies have, uh, Chinese autonomous driving companies have entered Abu Dhabi. We're talking Reride, Pony AI, Carrot Express, Neolix, Titan Technology, and of course the ones I just mentioned. Even Star Charge is setting up the EV charging infrastructure. But why Abu Dhabi? Why not Europe? Why not Asia? Three reasons, guys, and they're all coming together at the perfect time. First is policy. The UAE has a national AI strategy that requires 25% of daily traffic to be autonomous by 2030. That's only five years away, guys, so they're not messing around. Abu Dhabi is taking the operate first, regulate later approach. They're being generous with licenses and creating regulatory pathways. We Ride is literally on Abu Dhabi's Smart Mobility Advisory Committee, influencing urban transportation planning. That's wild. Second is geography and infrastructure. Abu Dhabi is oil rich, which means they've got the capital to build modern, standardized infrastructure. Flat terrain, standardized road signs, the whole nine yards. Plus, it's a natural stress test. Extreme heat, wind, dust. If your sensors work there, they'll work anywhere. Third is economics. Abu Dhabi received 148 million tourists in 2024. That's 410,000 people arriving every single day. High customer flow, high willingness to pay, perfect for validating business models. But here's the part that should really get NEO investors' attention. Abu Dhabi to NEO is actually already a financial backer. Middle East sovereign wealth funds have been on an absolute shopping spree for Chinese technology since 2022. Between June 2023 and 2024 alone, they've invested $7 billion into China. That's about five times what they invested in the previous year. In the first half of 2025, about four billion across 10 projects, over four billion. Their laser focused on three areas, AI, green technology, and autonomous driving. Let's talk about who they've backed in the EV space because this is where it matters to us. For NEO, CYVN Holdings, a subsidiary of Abu Dhabi's sovereign wealth fund, ADIA, made two investments in NEO totaling 3.3 billion. That's about 23.4 billion rent. The article literally calls it a veritable lifeline and a legendary story of financing in the automotive industry. That's not hype, guys. That's the reality of how Middle Eastern capital saved NEO when it needed it the most. Now let's talk about Xpong. Qatar Investment Authority and Mubadala both participated in Xpong's C++ round back in 2020, subscribing to over 100 million 
and preferred share. Even BYD got Middle Eastern backing. The Al Futam family, the second richest family in the UAE, participated in BYD's $5.596 billion dollar Hong Kong stock placement in March. So when we see all these Chinese companies flooding into Abu Dhabi, this isn't random. This is strategic partnership. Middle East capital is betting big on Chinese technology and Chinese OEMs are using uh, the Middle East as their proving ground for global expansion. All right, so let's bring this home. What does this mean for NEO? Because NEO isn't in Abu Dhabi yet for RoboTaxi. Let's be clear about that. But what is important is that NEO already has the financial relationship. That $3.3 billion from Abu Dhabi, that isn't just capital. That's a partnership. It's a vote of confidence. It's a door that's already open. NEO has been constantly developing their autonomous driving uh, capabilities. They've already got NAD, that's their Neo Autonomous Driving Platform. They've got the hardware, they're collecting data from their fleet globally. The question has never been, can Neo do autonomous driving? The question has always been, when will they deploy it commercially beyond China? Look at the playbook happening right now. Chinese companies are using Abu Dhabi to validate their technology, prove their business models, and generate revenue in a friendly regulatory environment. Outside of China and the U.S., the Middle East is showing the first viable path for commercial autonomous vehicle deployment. So for NEO, this should be encouraging. The infrastructure is being built. The regulatory framework is being tested. And NEO's financial backer is literally creating an autonomous vehicle cluster that's uh, welcoming Chinese companies with open arms. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say NEO to Abu Dhabi confirmed because I don't know that. But I am saying that the pieces are in place. The relationship exists and the opportunity is clear. Now, while all this is happening, let's talk about something happening at Tesla because it's something every Everyone's feeling the pressure is real. Two major developments. First is CarPlay integration. According to leaker Mark German, Tesla is internally testing CarPlay support. Yes, the same Elon Musk who's been vocally against Apple for years is potentially adding CarPlay to Tesla. Why? Because a 2024 McKinsey study found that one third of car buyers won't consider a vehicle without CarPlay or Android Auto. Tesla sales are weakening and some customers are literally citing lack of CarPlay as the reason. This is a strategic retreat. Apple killed Project Titan. They're out of the EV race. Musk needs Apple for X and Grok distribution. And Tesla needs to stop losing sales over a feature that becomes table stakes. They're planning to integrate it as a window in the main interface, but not a full takeover and it won't work with full self-driving navigation. But still, this is a massive shift. The second thing here is FSD version 14.1.7 and the push to full autonomy. Here's where it gets really interesting. Tesla just released FSD version 14.1.7 and Musk is claiming that 14.2 is coming in one or two months and that'll achieve quote unquote, fully autonomous driving. So let me break down what's significant about version 14.1.7 is fully end to end with 4.5 to 10 times more parameters than version 13. We're talking tens or even hundreds of billions of more parameters. It handles parking space to parking space, driving door to door journeys now iterating at one version per week internally for the first time ever. Tesla included language about breakpoint recovery and handling degraded options. That's L4 terminology, not L2. The KOLs are showing it handling 14 point uh, turns, navigating with limiting bollards with centimeters of clearance, showing courtesy to pedestrians while still being efficient. Andrei Karpathy, Tesla's former AI director, just bought a Model X two years ago after leaving and wrote that he was amazed by full self-driving. But there are still issues, weird route selection in parking lots, hesitation at intersections, turn signals activating too early, but Musk's response was that 95% of problems were solved and version 14.2 will be fully autonomous. Here's what's actually happening here. We're watching two different stories collide in real time. Strategy one is the Chinese approach. Deploy in friendly international markets, validate technology, build business models, generate revenue, create partnerships. It's methodical. It's strategic. Companies like WeRide, Pony AI, Carrot Express, Didi, 
they're all in Abu Dhabi, proving it works, getting regulatory approval, building relationships with sovereign wealth funds. Strategy two, the Tesla approach. Perfect the technology at home, deploy gradually through over the air updates, blur the lines between L2 and L4, then scale globally once you've achieved true autonomy. It's faster iteration, more risk, but potentially winner take all if it works. For NEO investors, here's a takeaway. Both strategies require massive capital, regulatory relationships, and technological capability. NEO has all three. Capital, check. Abu Dhabi's 3.3 billion plus ongoing operations. Regulatory relationships, check. Both in China and potentially in the Middle East through existing partnerships. Technology, check. NAD platform, hardware and vehicles, data collection ongoing. The question isn't whether autonomous driving will happen. It's clearly happening. We just watched an entire week of Chinese companies getting commercial licenses in Abu Dhabi. The question is who scales it the fastest and where they scale to. That's it from today's episode, but I want to hear from you. What do you guys think about the robo taxi race? What do you think about Neo's position in all of it? What do you think about Tesla's moves regarding Apple CarPlay and full self-driving? Click the notification bell icon, share the video, leave a comment down below, hit the like button. All that stuff really does go a long way in helping out the channel. Happy Monday, and we'll see you in the next episode of the CF Podcast. This is Obi, signing off. Goodbye.